hi everyone my name is keys and welcome back to my channel today i'll be doing um a top 10 20 list of my favorite artworks that i created in 2020 so the year has finished and we're now in 2021 and i hope that i can create some stuff that looks as good as the stuff i created in 2020 i am so incredibly proud of the stuff that i created in 2020 i felt like it was my best year in digital art yet um i did so many different things and experimented with so many different kinds of drawings portraits poses and all this stuff and it just remains a really good year for me and it helped me feel more confident in my art so today i want to present to you all some of the artworks that i made that i just absolutely loved in 2020 so here are 20 artworks for 2020 all right so this one um is for mermaid which i just drew two mermaids because i kind of gave up on the idea halfway through the month because i was starting to fall behind but i was still able to create this drawing and at first this drawing came out incredibly disgusting it was so ugly at first and i i was able to salvage it by just trying again um and then recoloring it and retrying everything out and I think it's just very beautiful and I just appreciate the vibe it gives me. She's so beautiful and seductive and I love it. <clears throat> Alright, so this um, number 19 is just something very, very cute. I just appreciate how airy and cute and just adorable it looks. I don't usually try out these styles a lot because they're more simplistic and I did this drawing just as a warm-up exercise because this drawing takes not as long as my other fuller drawings and it just gave me a lot of excuses to draw lines and shade stuff in and it was very very fun to draw so this one was my persephone fan art because i'm a big fan of lore olympus i read it every single week religiously and i just wanted to create some fan art and i wanted to just have an excuse to draw flowers because i absolutely love drawing flowers and I tried to experiment with the style of the artist of the webtoon so that's kind of where I got this look from and I just appreciate all the bright colors and the saturation of everything. <clears throat> I love this drawing because of the hair. The hair looks so soft, so beautiful and so realistic. I got it um with a mixture of brushes and I just appreciate the look and it was kind of a breakthrough for me. Um, oh, this was drawn in 2019. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um, I just really appreciated the look. <clears throat> Excuse that. <clears throat> oh, this drawing was really fun for me. Um, I was so excited about this drawing because I wanted to create my own brush in Procreate and I wanted to just draw with it. So I was excited by how... I could just make my own brush and create something out of it so that was i made a video on it and i thought um it would be fun to create something out of something i created that doesn't make any sense <laughs> but um i just i appreciate the tropical feel of it just the vibe that this person is just relaxing and my sister was there through the process and she really helped me put this character together and i just absolutely love it and look at the drink she's drinking i want to drink that i don't even know what it is um mm. all right so this is my diesel patches fan art and it has a special place in my heart just because of how weird it looks um i kind of drew this in the style of the first mermaid i showed or number 20 and i just love the vividness of it just the weirdness and everything that's going on and also he got to see the fan art and i think he really liked it and i love it so yeah and this was my e-girl it was just something i drew early on in my channel i just thought um i want to create an e-girl so i mixed all these pictures together and i came up with this even her expression her hairstyle and what she's wearing they're all inspired by someone different this was before i really knew anything about editing so in the video all the pictures are just right there all four of them are just right there and then the drawing is like really tiny in the screen um all in all i just appreciate and love 
all the pinkness and the girliness of this but it kind of has a darker darker tone like she looks really cool and cute at the same time oh my god this is my magical girls fan art i'm ugh, i love anime so much and my, i love magical girls and i just love animated shows and anything that has to do with magic i'm automatically in love with so i love magical girls and this drawing was just supposed to be a reflection of that i just thought i want to make a fan art of my favorite magical girls and um this is bloom madoka and usagi sailor moon from their respective shows and i just wanted to draw them looking magical <laughs> this is my mermaid and this was the second mermaid i drew for mermaid and i was loving the water and just the way the blue contrasts with the orange i was in love with the way this drawing came out it just looks so casual so fun the beach ball just adds such a nice level of just a summer feel to it that i just absolutely enjoy i love this drawing so so much like 10 out of 10 um i just really love the vibe it gives me she's just relaxing she's just chilling one thing i really um, try to convey in my drawings is that the character is the character's mood and just the vibe you're supposed to feel from the drawings um, and I thought that came out really nicely in this drawing and also this drawing was referenced from like a Walmart advertisement I found on Pinterest and I thought it would just be perfect for this drawing and the drawing came out really beautiful oh my god this was a more recent drawing I drew this a few days ago and I just really wanted to draw someone that looks like a chocolate and vanilla bar. I know that's kind of weird, but her skin is supposed to be chocolate and her hair is supposed to be vanilla. And that's kind of where I wanted to get my inspirations for the colors from. And I just really love her afro. It's absolutely stunning. It looks so soft and so beautiful. And it just kind of cements for me that my submits my improvement in drawing hair and eyelashes and absolutely everything her teeth looks amazing her eyelashes her makeup looks amazing she looks so beautiful and i love the color of her skin ah 10 out of 10 oh my god this drawing holds a special place in my heart at number 10 it's um my sister's drawing i recreated her own drawing in my own style and i love her version it's so cute and my mom saw it and she even liked it and she just thought it was really cute and i and i love this drawing because it was just something i did with my sister and she really loved the way it came out i love the way it came out the colors are so beautiful the bright red lipstick i thought she did an amazing job at creating a character and honestly i'm just so honored to have gotten to just draw it myself oh my god look at her hair wow her hair looks so good and her eyes wow Oh my god <clears throat> so this was a drawing i created that is actually supposed to be referenced by me um i just really wanted to draw myself <laughs> because that happens sometimes i like using myself as a reference picture and i want to try something sci-fi out of space out of this world kind of look something really um something just really weird you know like the planets orbiting her and i was really getting into big things like um i forgot what it's called but it's like oh megalophobia where, where things are just really big to the point where they kind of like scare you and i um i didn't really convey that that much but she's supposed to be like super big that's why the planets look so small but um i'm not really that good at perspective yet so i wasn't able to really convey that she just looks like she's wearing a cool sci-fi outfit for like a really weird fashion show but absolutely 10 out of 10 i love this oh my god oh my god <clears throat> yes yes this drawing i drew um for my primary colors <clears throat> three colors challenge i just want to use three colors and show each of them individually i actually took out some time to plan out which parts would get which colors and this was the combination i came out with and i took a lot of time um putting together her face her curls i just wanted everything to look iconic this will forever be one of my favorite art pieces i don't know how long it would take me to not to just not like this it's just so beautiful in my eyes i love everything about it 
everything. It's so beautiful to me. 10 out of 10. Oh my god, this is my first drawing um, for my first video of this channel. So I love this. And just the colors. Wow. I have not tried a color combination like this. But I remember um, what was going through my mind when I was drawing this was that I wanted the brightest possible green I could get. And I was just so excited to just try out different greens oh my god i sound like a dumb nerd <laughs> but i love this drawing because of the contrast that purple pinkish color oh my goodness and the green wow it just looks so absolutely beautiful and it's just one of the few drawings i have of um men i don't draw a lot of men because I guess I just like drawing girls and he is just absolutely stunning, beautiful. I love this. 10 out of 10. Oh my god, look at this girl. Um, this drawing, I love it because um, of the hair. I love the hair so much. Um, I love just the way it came out. I do my hair all the time with weave and I love doing my hair with weave. So I thought it would be nice to just draw characters who's also wearing weave i absolutely love it and i think when people just do it it's just so beautiful especially when you wear really bright and beautiful colors and in this drawing i want to put emphasis on the colors red and white because it's just it was just supposed to be a drawing for christmas and i just i love this it's an ten. oh my god and at number five we have this this the jewelry the blue the white oh my goodness this drawing when i drew it it blew my mind because when i was drawing this drawing it was just me experimenting with um jewelry i want to draw a lot of jewelry and i wanted it to look really really good and i wanted for there to be a very very bright um what is it called royal blue um indigo yes and i just thought it would look so good um contrasting with the gold and wow i love this drawing so much i just love how beautiful and exotic and flashy she looks she looks so amazing like i just cannot describe the emotions i feel when i see this drawing her little glittery outfit her hair wow and also her hair is supposed to look like the moon um oh my goodness Ugh, stop 10 out of 10 <clears throat> This drawing I made for a drawing contest and I just love how high quality and beautiful it looked. I would have never dreamt that when I started making digital art, I would have gotten to the point where I could create something like this. When I made this, this was the pinnacle. This was the top for me. Everything about this, I love. Um, they're supposed to be the same people. It's supposed to um, reflect, um, it's supposed to convey duality so the drawing is called echo so they're like the same person creature and um that's kind of where i kind of went with it i just thought i want there for, for there to be two people and they're supposed to be the exact same but very different in a way in the colors wow 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 <clears throat> 10 out of 10 oh my god this was so cute this was also drawn with along with the other drawing i just shown they were both for a contest and um the baby wow look at that baby that is the cutest baby i've ever made i don't draw a lot of babies i think this is like the second baby i've drawn in all of my drawing career but that baby just looks so soft and the robot oh my goodness this drawing was also a really big achievement for me just because of um the robot side of it i never like drew anything that kind of went there with all the 3d um all the sci-fi all the robot pieces the androids all of these um geometric lines and shapes um they just never came out right when i drew them before so i was especially proud of this drawing oh my god ten out of ten. <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> absolutely i love this so much um this drawing was also just me trying to um explore drawing men because they've always been so difficult for me and i don't draw them a lot and i just want to draw something that was max masculine but feminine at the same time i love flowers so i just thought i want something that just screams pink 
and um, I just love everything about it the hair um, oh my goodness the rose the thorns everything about this drawing I love the way I shaded his skin absolutely I love it so much Ugh, 10 out of 10 Wow oh my goodness and at my number one spot this was kind of hard because as I said I loved so many of my drawings I created in 2020 and I wasn't able to show a lot of them um, because I'm a hot mess at social media and also I just kind of started making videos on YouTube but OMG I love this beyond words I have it as my tablet <laughs> um, as my tablet wallpaper as you can see in some of my videos um, I there's nothing to like words cannot explain how much I love this drawing I don't even remember why I drew this but I just remember it just being something so magical for me. When I started drawing it, I was like, oh my god, I love I love the way this is going. Um, I changed a lot of things about it, but I just enjoyed um, the insects, the honey thing that's pouring down his face. Just all the elements of it are just so beautiful to me. It just has this sense of artisticness. Um, I just cannot put my fingers on but i love this drawing beyond words it is it just nothing can replace it for the top spot um out of all of the drawings i've ever created this drawing is just at number one for me i love everything i was able to explore while making it and i love it so so much it's so beautiful to me oh my goodness this is like a whole 100 out of 10 it's so amazing in my eyes i love this so much um oh my goodness <laughs> i'm sorry if this video came off weird but i just wanted to take some time to gush about my own art because i think um i have grown so much like i used to draw the ugliest things and i think i'm making such good progress and i just want to take some time to just highlight and show that because omg look at that that is so beautiful um but yeah i hope i can create anything that looks remotely close to these um in 2021 but i absolutely loved all of these drawings and i'm so proud of them and they were like my best drawings of 2020 i created some not so good drawings but these just really help me to continue making art because i feel like they highlight my skills and how far i've come that's it thank you bye <laughs>